Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to show you how to make this backpack satchel that I've put together and I love it. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's got a gift tag here as well with all hearts on it. So this is going to be part of my Valentine's kind of series. I'm not going to do the videos back to back like one after the other, but I am going to be doing a few more Valentine's makes now. Probably do about five or six between now and maybe a few days before Valentine's Day. And um, this is the first one. So you just have your velcro fastenings there and then just slide those through and then this side opens up so it's got this kind of squash kind of closure there on the sides and then you've got a little finger pull there and you just open that up and then you have all your space inside for your gift there's a lot of room in there this one is two and a half deep and height is six and three quarters and the width is I think it's nine yeah, it'd be nine inches. So it's a really, really great size. It's got lots of nice details on here as well. And um, it's pretty straightforward to make. I'll show you every step as always. So I'm gonna be using this paper pad for a lot of this year's Valentine's makes. And it's the pink paper block. And I got this from the range and it's by Craft Sensations. And it's just got loads of really nice tones of pink. And then it's got these pattern papers as well. So for today's, I'm using the Flamingo paper and on the reverse you just have this plain pink and then I've got some other different kind of strips that I've taken from that pad to do the handles and stuff so you want two pieces of the 12 by 12 but like I said if you don't have this pad then anything that you have but you want 12 by 12 and then you're going to score if it's directional make sure it's the right way up and you're going to score at half an inch and at nine and a half inches okay then rotate it so that half inch section is at the top and you're going to score again at two and a half and at nine and a half now i've just got to move my paper up because it's slightly shorter than 12 but again you want to score at nine and a half there okay do that on both pieces next you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines Okay, so I've got those both ready. Now, we're not going to do any cutting yet. We need to stick them both together because usually we cut into parts of it, but I want to get it all stuck and then we can take away what we need to. So I'm going to, first of all, you want to run your glue all the way down the half inch tab on one of those sheets, like so. And then I'm just going to stick that over the top. Make sure it all lines up, all your score lines meet up. Okay, and then flip it over, fold the tab over on the other end, and again, add your glue. And then fold the other half right the way over and it should all meet up perfectly. Okay, so if you've got directional paper, again, make sure it's the right way up. But if you're using a pattern paper that has no direction, right now you could turn it anyway. It doesn't matter because you'll have those two and a half inch sections at each end here. So for me, I want to start from the bottom here. And you're just going to cut up the four score lines to the first one. So just that one. And then this one here. Move it to this one. And finish with that one. Okay, so that just frees up the base a little bit more. Then what's going to happen is we want to cut down just the two front ones. Okay, so I'm going to flip it around this way. So you're doing the same again, but you're just cutting down the two front ones. Like so. Okay, what's going to happen is that one's going to go in there, but I think I might end up cutting about half of it off. It's up to you, you don't have to. But I would recommend just taking... Not a big wedge, just a little bit. If anything, just kind of remove the score lines that may well still be visible. Okay, so I was just playing around with inside here. I actually ended up folding it first the wrong way. What you want to do is just fold them so that it will fold flat like this. So the easiest way is just to fold, pinch the end there and just fold it down like so. So just get it as far as you can and then if you flip it over, because we haven't sealed the bottom yet, just go in and you'll be able to follow the rest. You see there? And just kind of, you know, burnish those score lines. And that will give you that closure. And this, like, like I said before, if you want to trim this in half, you can. I'm kind of thinking I might keep it all now because then that can go in first and then that will close on top. And it just gives you this interesting closure on the top there. So it's up to you how you want to do that, but do that, fold that first, so just pinch the ends, so just they'll be like this, just start bringing it in, okay, and push that down. 
then I'm going to flip it over and now I'm going to seal the bottom so I'm going to stick the back one down first cover this in glue and I'm going to use the Kalau glue because it will strengthen the base and mean you can pop you know heavier items in there if you want and then I'm going to fold that one over and that one over and then again just add your glue all on this section here and fold that one down and then I'm going to open that back up again and just go in there and just really push that down okay now to make it easier for the, the person to be able to open that this kind of flat piece here I'm going to just punch a little finger pull so just a half semicircle in the middle there and then that way when that's folded down and you've got your gifts in there they can just pop their finger and pull that up there but now like that it's just something a little bit different so now it's down to the decoration so I have these two strips of one inch by 12 and I've just cut a tiny little bit of silver card at the ends to look like hardware and the idea is I'm going to have these attached at the back coming down over the front so where you place these and how much you want hanging over is entirely up to you I'm going to stick these down and then I'll give you the measurements Okay, so I've ended up sticking four and a half inches on the back and I've come in two inches either side. Now it's up to you if you want to add glue and stick that on as well. I'm just thinking when that comes up. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue the glue on this area here as well. And just bend it over there so you can see that all lines up really nicely. Okay, so while that's just drying, I'm then going to add some holes so again I'll pop them first and then I'll give you the measurements you might want to do this before you stick them down because you could always lay one over the top of the other one so then you've got them all equally spaced but again it's just a little bit of decoration there we go okay so this one the first one I've come up one inch from the silver and then half inch in between Okay, now I want to add my little kind of slots for this to lock into. So I think I might have them higher up. I think I'm going to do them up here because then that's really going to hold them in. So this piece here is what I would do. Well, this is five eighths of an inch, five eighths or three quarters. And then I think I'm going to do it by because I want enough overhanging. So I think two inches is going to be plenty and then decide whereabouts you want to have them and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue either side right up to the edge you don't want to come down into the cardstock too much and then I think I'm going to bring it down I'm going to put some little gemstones on this as well to look like hardware or I might just cut some more of the mirrored card Okay, like so now I've got a bit of a bounce still with mine so you may want to have it so that that piece goes over this one and not stick them on there that's one way that might hold it down but all I'm going to do is add some of my velcro dots so I'm just going to take a couple of pairs there and I'm going to just lay one underneath here and underneath there bring that right down make sure it's nice and straight that one there and that one there and just lift them up carefully and then you'll be able to prise them apart but you'll just be able to really stick them down and then they'll be able to just slide through like so what I would do is just when the glue's dry just go underneath there you just be able to kind of give them a little bit of an arch but now See that opens up and you can get inside the box easily. I like it, I think it's really cute. So now I'm going to pop them back through. Okay, so I've just been having a little look at things that I've got and I think I'm actually going to set some eyelets in those circles and then I've just used my punch with some silver card and just punched the four circles there. Also, if you've got any of the Helen Griffin 
gift bag dies. She's got ones with little rivets that you can die cut from them. There's actual buckles on there. There's straps. So some of you that have got like the doctor's bag and stuff like that, you could use the straps from that one um, and on, you know, add them onto here. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue and get them stuck down and then set those eyelets. Okay, so I'm really pleased with them. However, that one, it looks like there's a defect. You can see I've got a gap there, but my gift tag is going to hang on this side. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But it, they all slide through still nicely. Pop them on the Velcro there. I think that looks really cool. Right, so I've just been playing around with my straps and I'm going to change it slightly. So I've got this piece here, which is 12 by 1. Mine's a little bit shorter, but you want 12 by 1. And you're going to bring it around like this Keep it, the, whatever you want the pattern to, you know, whatever pattern you want to be seen or colour, whatever. Pop your thumbs on top and then bring it towards you, keeping your thumbs on top. And it will give you that shape. Okay, so, and that's where my thumbs are, is actually where I want to add the glue. So, if you just pop your glue at either end, that way you'll know that you're sticking it right. So, and I'm going to stick it over those straps at the back, because they're obviously the same width and again just bring that one over like so okay so we're starting again to get that satchel look I'm going to turn it into a backpack I was just going to have just like a briefcase kind of handle but I'm actually going to do another little backpack I think it'll look really cute and then I've got two more pieces again so you want that one inch by 12 pop some glue about one inch at the end and you're going to stick it away from you okay so pop this end right over that one Okay, and whilst that's just doing its thing, I'm going to grab this one and do the same. So you're sticking them away from you. Now do make sure these are completely dry before you do the next step because we're going to be pulling them back towards us so you don't want any pressure. There's going to be pressure here so you want to make sure that glue is completely stuck. Okay, and then this one is just going to come down to the bottom. So you're going to get that effect there. It's all decorative, this is, so, you know, you may decide you don't want to. Again, I'm just going to cover about an inch, like so, and then just bring that down, keeping it all lined up, like so. And then I'm going to punch a couple more silver circles using that and pop them at the bottom there. So again, they look like little rivets. And again, bring that one down. Okay, so there's the hardware on the bottom. And then if you want to add a, you know, put a fold into that, you can. I'm going to just pull them up a little bit higher. But I think that looks absolutely adorable. It's so cute. I th think I'm going to make a mini version. It definitely needs to have a mini version in this style. I think it looks super cute. And then I'm just going to finish it off with my gift tag. So I have just raided a selection of my heart dies. So I've got this one here, hearts and love dies. And I used the black one, which is just here. I think this was an old, very old Dovecraft one. There we go. So that's what I've done with the white. And then I've stamped this using, this is a Kayser Craft, P.S. I Love You. And it says together is a beautiful place to be. And then I've used, these are the Bright Rosa. These are now discontinued, but it was the heart band. So I know some of you would have had that because it did go down in the sale. So I've already popped some ribbon on there. And I think I'm going to have it just around here. And just see it on the back there that is the little satchel backpack i love it so there it is i'm really pleased with this considering it's the first one i've made in this style and um the tutorial was kind of like trial and error i think it's come together really really well and i can't wait to make some more if you like this kind of style check out my playlist because i do have some other backpacks there and just satchel styles so you might enjoy those ones as well and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell as well that way you'll get notified when a new tutorial is uploaded and i'll be back very soon with another fun video thanks for watching bye